Yo, what is going on guys? It is Shifty here back with a brand new video. This is episode 10 of the survival series. Yes, I am bringing it back because we still have to beat the game, you know? And as you can tell, we uh downloaded quite a bit of mods and shaders into it. Like not like mods that you guys are thinking, but just sort of like tweaks and things like that. Features that probably should already be in Minecraft, you know? Anyway, I already recorded episode 10 like the time that I left YouTube around like two years ago and I just can't find the footage for it and I just thought I'll just make another episode 10 because I didn't do a whole lot in episode 10 it was just kind of like a showcase sort of video so you didn't really miss too much with that one but I will cover what I did do inside of that episode so I did actually finish the museum I guess this is the best time to show the museum off now and if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know what I'm talking about well there's these cows down here um where are they They're right here and these are the holy cows of my server. I know they're at a terrible spot, but these are the holy cows that I call because I think the reason why I call these the holy cows is because out of the herd, they were somehow survived, which was quite odd. So I just call them the holy cows and I actually built this museum over here. It's finally done now. So I'm gonna go over here and show you guys. So you just go up these stairs right here. I actually didn't finish this pathway. I probably won't finish that pathway because I don't have any intention for it anymore. But you just come up here and voila, the museum. I know it's like you go straight up to it and I apologize for that. But this mountain, as you can see, it's it's so steep. I mean, anyway, you come up here. This is kind of like the, the side sort of and don't mind how it's just hanging there. I'm going to make sure that it has support. Just just bear with me, guys. <laughs> but yeah, you walk inside and... And as you can see, this is what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. It's most certainly not the best, but it's definitely, it definitely does the job. So the cow, the holy cows will just sit in this sort of fence area. They got quite a bit of room since there's only like four or five cows or something like that. And then I have like a little glass dome. I think that looks pretty cool and it's very fitting for, you know, the museum. And I also kind of had like this little pattern going just because I wanted to, you know, make it look really cool on the outside. I might end up doing it along the whole entire place i'm not sure yet i'm definitely keeping this look i think it looks really good so i guess we should probably go get the cows but it looks like it's uh becoming nighttime and oh my gosh my place actually looks really cool lit up with um the shader all right time to go to sleep also there's timothy oh my gosh he's having dreams look oh my gosh no way that is so adorable hi timothy how's it going <coughs> What do you mean, Timothy? Okay, I'll keep my distance. He gets a little grumpy, especially in the mornings. This view is actually great. Oh my gosh, look at the ocean as it just like kind of sits there on the horizon. The sun's beautiful. Anyway, now that it's morning, we should go ahead and get the cows. I need to get some leads though real quick. The question is, do I even have any leads? Leads, leads. Guys, bad news. I don't think I have any leads. Yeah, I literally don't have any. Well, Looks like we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. All right, I'm gonna break the glass. All right, come on, cows. This way, this way, this way, one by one. Is that everybody? Nope. Come on, guys. All right, I believe that's everybody. Follow me, this way, this way. Come on, no crowding, no crowding. I hope they'll be able to go up here. No, 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 no. Come on, guys, come on. All right, so there is five of them. Oh, one's getting distracted, no. I like how they're all in a line, oh my gosh. Oh, no, they're not. All right, I'll I'll uh, I'll come back and get the others. No, one fell in. All right, this way, this way, this way. All right, so at least we have majority of them. All right, there we go. We got three of them in here. Now I just got to get the others. Before I got distracted, what I was trying to say is I think a good idea would be to name all of them. That would be like really cool. Since they are the holy cows, they definitely deserve really good names. Why are you walking on the side like that? why they are actually doing that what the heck all right perfect 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 this way this way i just realized i was holding a fence the whole time there we go now they're in here they actually have quite a bit of room so i'm glad i made this the size that it is because they actually have quite a bit of room to roam around it is a very sacred kind of like 
monument. Now that that's done, so for the video today, what I plan on doing is to gather more equipment and things like that to help go to the end because at the end of the day, the series cannot be complete until we defeated the Ender Dragon. Which, I keep saying until we defeat the Ender Dragon, but I really want to expand the world a lot more after we defeat the Ender Dragon. Like, I plan on, you know, building a new base, things like that, moving to different areas, because, because I want to do so much more after we defeat the Ender Dragon. And this is only just the beginning, even though I did go on hiatus for about two years, which is actually quite crazy to think about. But anyway, I am back now, so we are going to get some stuff done, and we're going to do a lot of grinding so when it comes to diamonds we only have about five diamonds which we don't technically need diamonds to defeat the ender dragon but it'll definitely help with the process and we have bows and stuff like that like we have we have a power four on breaking three and then a power three which will really help so what i should do is i'm going to go ahead and make a chest real quick so this chest right here is going to be specifically for the end and like post game and things like that so i'm gonna put like a lot of my good stuff here that i'll be using i guess fishing rod it doesn't really matter because you know it's a fishing rod i definitely want to keep like my diamonds and stuff together that i'll be using on my journey i should probably get a lot of food in here too i don't necessarily need golden apples but i'll take them anyway oh i have three enchanted apples the heck i didn't even know i had three i have quite a bit of iron i probably should i know that i have a set down here or i should at least um okay i do some of it's kind of worn down do i not have boots it's not that big of a deal because i have quite a bit of iron there we go we're suited up now but what i am going to do is make another bow like that and then if i place it in here and then a regular bow i'll have a fully restored power four which will be really good that only costed a few levels that was worth the investment because that's actually a pretty good bow we still have a diamond pickaxe but we also have the efficiency four i do believe this is yeah efficiency four diamond pickaxe i'll go ahead and put this in here just in case i probably won't even take that with me on the journey just because i don't think i need it because if i did use it and then i died well at least i want to keep some of my good stuff you know so i'll probably just put that back here on the item frame like that oh wow it's already nighttime again wait where did timothy go the heck how did timothy get up here what? I didn't know villagers could climb up ladders. The heck? That's actually really cool. I should probably focus on ender pearls because I don't really have any. So I guess our first trip needs to be to the nether, unfortunately. So I'm just going to go take this golden helmet real quick. I'm going to gather up all my gold possible and use that to try and trade with piglins. That will probably be my best bet for getting ender pearls. Oh, sweet. We have quite a bit of gold right here. Oh, and more. Nice. So we have about a stack and a half, which is pretty, pretty good. What the heck? I was going to go harvest my crops, but... Hello? Who are you? What the... Hmm. I think this turtle was the one that was, like, over here. Because I think there used to be a couple sea turtles. And maybe wound it up here. After defeating the Ender Dragon, I definitely need to make a better farm. Because this farm is awful. And I definitely want to get other things, too. That was only enough to make 37 bread. Oh my gosh. Alright, off to the nether! All right, we made it. Oh, great. There's piglins right here. Here you go, buddy. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, a spectral. 10 spectral arrows? That's not bad. All right, just to speed up the process, I am going to drop you in a hole. I'm, I apologize, but I'm just going to do this. That way it makes it a lot faster. I'm just going to keep on dropping them. Ooh, boots. Oh, that's handy. Soul speed. Ooh, we got our... We got our first bit of ender pearls. Nice. So we ended up giving the piglin all of our gold and we only got that little bit of ender pearls, which is kind of sad, but we ended up getting quite a few spectral arrows. We got a stack and 18 of spectral arrows, which is really helpful with just arrows in general. And then also just so happens to be an enderman right beside us. So I'm gonna try and, um, Mr. Enderman, I'm sorry, but um, where did you go, sir? Jeez, that's so loud. Well, the Enderman's gone. All right, on to plan two. All right, so plan two is the warped forest. Now, of course, there's always Enderman. Oh, sweet. Anyway, as I was saying, there's always Enderman down in here, and there's one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and try and kill the sir. Look at him side-eyeing me. Oh my gosh. Oh, he died. Did he drop? No, he did not. Oh, here's another one right here. 
Oh, this one dropped. I need to be more careful because my armor isn't the best. All right, run, run, run. Nice. Okay, I think we just stumbled upon a bastion. We're in. Oh my gosh. I need to find a way out because this is a bad idea. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, finally, we got 13. Ideally, I think 13's a pretty good number considering usually the portal has some already filled. We'll of course need a couple extras just to be able to get there because obviously they're gonna break. All right, now I gotta find my way back. And I just realized I don't have gold on anymore, so that's gonna be an issue. Luckily there's gold right here, but I don't know if it'll be enough to make one. All right, perfect. We have enough to make some boots. All right, hopefully we're good. Even though I did just attack one of their people. All right, finally, we made it. What the heck? Did one of the Endermen from the Nether come all the way to the overworld? Alrighty, we made it home safely. Whew, that was an adventure. I don't have that many blaze powder, but I do have quite a bit. So I only had enough to make a six eyes of Ender. Which means that, that sadly, we have to go back. But anyway, I'm probably going to end it off right here. Because we did get a lot done in this video. But anyway... I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you never want to miss another video just like this one, make sure to turn on the notification bell, and make sure to leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!